Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wolfenstein. When we last left off, we were doing some. Oh yeah, we were in that U-boat, and now we're going to raid this train. Yeah, I th I thought I saw a way to get across, that old but guy. you know we'll see. That old guy creeping, so good. whatever you want to call him. By that uh, death trap or whatever's, you know, the scientist. Yep. Creeps me yeah, out. Yeah. Jesus H Christ. Where are my grenades? Have it. Come on, die, man! What the fuck is going on here? Fuck me! Forty shotgun shells and three grenades, and he's still walking around. Whew. It's gonna be tough. Dude, I just found that freaking that shotgun guy that killed you, or that kept killing you, or whatever. Because I didn't realize that you're supposed to go through that way, so. Now that yeah. I know, <laughs> oh man, I kept trying to, oh my god, I don't even want to tell you, that was bad. That was, I'm so screwed right now. That was now. so horrible. Right, I'm strapping all shells around to the useless, in open areas. Direction. You can see that thing from everywhere if you look up. Hey, how- Fuck. So, did you see that Panzerhund over there on the other side of the bridge there? No. Nope. Oh shit. What was the one there? Oh god! Damn it. I almost fell off. <laughs> almost again. Almost, yeah. I would've cried. He's actually making progress. Oh good, I don't have to restart fully. Still have to go back quite a ways though. How do you do this game, or how do you do this part without like, without that regeneration on your plasma cannon? Um, I have no idea, but I just stepped out, and then someone stepped out. I had about 50 of them surrounding me, and two armor guys. I'm like, I'm out, I'm just out of grenades, can't do shit. Unless I can just make a run for it. <laughs> it's a good thing that this part of the train is indestructible, you know? Which, yeah, that's another cool thing about this game, is that like, Basically everything in this game is destroyable. Yeah, pr pretty much, yeah. Oh shit, I fell off the bridge. How, how good is this rocket launcher, do you know? Um, it's alright, really, against those small armor tigers. It's pretty decent. I'm fucking dead, man. This is BS. As soon as you walk forward, two of them come out. Both. You got nowhere to hide, you got no cover at all. Like two panzer rooms? No, the big guys in the rocket launchers. Oh shit, those guys. Maybe I'm going to throw them. I got my little Tesla gun ready. And it's doing the fuck all nothing. Grats, bro. I got his head. I love how there's all those people crawling around. Oh, I guess there's still a few people.
I'll take them all down, finally. The soundtrack on this is damn good. I've said that once, but I'm going to say it again. It's great. Like the music and stuff? Yeah, yeah, the music in game. I think this is the only game I've not turned the music down on that I've ever played. It just fits in really well. Alright guys, sorry about that cut. I had to go talk on the phone and eat dinner. But you know, I'm back. So, let's figure out what what we're supposed to do here. Obviously, we can't jump off there because that'd, that'd kill us, right? Um, so, let's try and jump up here. I know how to do it now. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> yep, so second... Drop this gun. Gotta get on the second floor here. Well, it's third floor. We just climb up here. Come on, man. <laughs> climb! Alright, there we go. London Automobile Railway Wagon inside Dead Sets. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I just found number six. <laughs> Dangling off the bridge, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, and then just follow this. You gotta cut across. I just fucked shit up right there. Nice. Oh my god. There was one of those little, uh... Uh, Dobermans or whatever. It was actually, it looked like a baby panzer hoon because it, didn't, it doesn't have any Doberman parts left on I don't know. Jesus. Hold on! Almost fell off there. <laughs> I just got the endurance perk. Oh. I think I got that early. Yeah, well, shut up. I mean, because I didn't ask you when you got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Looked like it looks like I'm good to go. I citizen. Oh Christ. I love how he says, and, oh boy, there's a big gun. <laughs> and then I just, like, grab my plasma cannon and just absolutely destroy it.
Ruh-ruh. 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 Loop. Oh crap, that's one of those guys. I don't have enough charge. Time to fuck Urbic. Are you sure you don't have the re the regenerating thing on your gun? On your no. Kit? And how do you have the, how do you how does your charge last so long? Um, I don't. I normally fill it back up every hour and then. Oh, like because I haven't been seeing any of those things that fill up that you can fill up on. Let's make our way downtown, boys. Oh, Christ. There we go. Grab a little bit of arm. Two bottles of whiskey for the way. Now I found a place where you can fill her up. Okay. That's cool. I mean, it's like right where I don't need to fill it up, but oh well. Did you cut into that vent yet? Hey, yep. How far ahead are you? I just crash landed on the bridge. On London Nautica's bridge or something like that. And it seems like I'm glitched. Never mind. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> See, I found out what happens if you get too close to those big guys. You know, like what you said about the melee combat? He picked me up and absolutely just crushed my head. Yeah, that's all the farther I am. <laughs> Un said, Wille East Stark. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Indeed it is. Oh, wow. Ouch. Oh, my God. That was dirty. Like my penis.
Well, so you can charge this gun up here too? Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome. I just hear a bunch of like. Must be something under me or something. I'm actually gonna go up. Oh, alright. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, um, they've breached the hiding place. Right, right. Oh, they did? Oh, yep. dude. Yeah. Why'd you give me that spoiler alert? Well, I that's what you. just. Well, it's not not much really. I'm not telling you how they breached it yet. I don't even know myself how they breached it. I'm making my way back to Berlin now, even though I'm in London, Nautica. How'd you get uh, all the way up to London? To way. Jesus. I'm crash landed. Oh. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Oh, I see. What the fuck? Oh, dude, yeah, here's that part where I'm dangling off the side here. Oh, my Jesus! <laughs> Help! Help! Oh, man. <laughs> thank, thank God for choppers, dude. Holy crap. Alright. What would Captain Blaskowitz do? Alright, I'll drop you off here. Dude, a Panzerhund ran out and my uh, gun was out of charge when he did. <laughs> oh, dude, wow. the luck. It, yeah, like, it, it ran the chopper over. <laughs> oh, damn it. This game is just ultimately amazing. Amazing. I've not found one bad thing about yeah. it. It's just so much fun exactly. to play. I mean, like... It, the choices that you can make or whatever, you know? Oh crap, I just... Yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I hit the gun trying to get into the chopper. Anyway, like, the choices that you can make... I wonder how many there are. You know, because you could choose who died there. I wonder if it affects the yeah. game as well. 
I I mean I'm gonna have to re go through and replay it, like and choose the old guy instead of the kid, just to see what happens, you know. I mean, like like the kid said, I doubt all those people would have died. Or you know what? It might be like you choose the kid, and then he just decides to kill the older guy anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said I wonder if it affects the game at all. Which I mean, that's I hate the games that do that. I was a kid. The man I looked up to most was yeah, so I was the point in giving us a choice of just gonna make yeah. the choice yourself anyway. I mean, it it changes like five seconds of dialogue, and that's about it. Yeah, it's it changes yeah. a sentence. What would Captain Blasquitz do? I wouldn't. Ch I wouldn't. Uh, le I wouldn't let any of this shit happen. That's for sure. Let my gun recharge for that Panzer Hound. Alright, time to get off. <laughs> Jump! Just a little bit far thing, you know that huge thing? Yeah, the f do you know when the first mission, when you're on the beach, that massive three-legged beast? Three-legged machine beast. And all you all hear is... Yeah, you know Oh I mean. yeah, and, like, and... Well, I mean, I got into the cannon and I shot it. Yeah, well, I'm fighting one of those right all now right. on my own. Have fun. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, it's fucking me up so much. Is this number six? I wonder. Oh shit. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Here we go. <coughs> Got the papers. Now what? We need to move fast. The lunar shuttle leaves tonight from the London Nautica. You will need your equipment up there, but you need to check it as luggage. Not allowed in the passenger cabin. Dude, this thing you is need to fucking keep a low huge. Profile. You may need a shave and a haircut. You certainly need some sleep. You'll need to recover your equipment from the luggage area once you've arrived at the lunar base. Finally, you need to find those nuclear decryption keys. Well, so they just give like 
Easy rides the moon. Wow, dude. Like <laughs> off the moon. Like in in a world that you could just like like um it's basically like getting on a plane when you go to the moon. That'd be awesome. Moonst by moonst by is this einst moon base one. He doggy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, when we come back, we'll be going on moon base one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.